plans for the National Health and Wellbeing Committee uh, over the next winter period of 16, 17 is just to establish ourselves uh, even more in our counties. Um, up to date, um, we're on the go two years. We have 31 counties now with a County Health and Wellbeing Committee and as of this weekend here at our conference, the 32nd has come on board. So we're delighted now with our presence across the Association in Ireland and what we want to do as a national committee is build on that with the counties. Today we've had an opportunity to work closely with our provinces um, who have all appointed committees at this stage and so we had hoped through the structures that are already in place in the GA to continue to prosper uh, into what we are, a small part of the GA but an integral part of it. I suppose 2017 is all about consolidating the progress that we've made to date. Uh, we're just a couple of years in, into the journey but we feel we've made some great strides. So for 2017 we're really asking our county health and wellbeing committees to make sure that they have strong committees in place, that they reach out to any potential new members that might be interested in contributing at some level. Um, we are asking them to make sure that every club in their county knows uh, that they're in place and that they can access uh, club health and wellbeing officer training through that committee. The really important things I learned from the social initiative uh, workshop today was I suppose how we need to expand our thinking around older people, our instinct maybe always to help and to look at those who are vulnerable or to look at them as vulnerable but what we talked a lot about is how older people can be very dynamic active agents in your community and they have as many capabilities and as many things to offer as younger people in our clubs and you know to maybe extend how we integrate with them that social inclusion isn't always around helping it's about including those in those people in our club activities the key learnings from the, the physical activity workshop is that the, the amount of benefits that, that individuals and a wider club membership can get from physical activity there's plenty of tips on, on how to do that at home at work and at play uh, and i suppose everyone's looking for that quality of life when they get older and these are the starting steps to, to ensuring that. To put it quite simply, I'm just blown away. We were just having a conversation there about how the information is so concise and relevant, very, very relevant in this day and age. And we're all energised and just, we've one more workshop this evening and we just can't wait now to get back to our clubs and try and implement as much as possible. We've done a couple of the workshops there this morning um, and it's one of them was in, in particular in mental health and I think it was just fantastic to go and, and um, listen to people's experience and what they're doing in their clubs and I think that's what it's uh, mainly about, it's about the shared experience of what, what's working in some clubs and how that will help us and, and, and we can bring that back to our own club as well.